How's it going everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to another video. So today I'm actually going to be reviewing Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. This guy's absolutely amazing. One of the best strikers, if not the best striker in FIFA 17. And every year he usually starts off really well when it comes down to in-game and foot. However, this year he has an 86 overall card with 96 sprint speed. 87 positioning and 88 finishing making him an amazing striker. I had the opportunity to use him alongside Messi and Neymar and to be quite honest with you, he was kind of like the catalyst in a sense. He would run back, he was playing like a center forward if that makes any sense. Although I was playing the 4-3-2-1 formation with the left forward, right forward and striker. Right there, really nice header. His physical stats on his card, a lot of you guys might be avoiding purchasing him uh, just because you might rely on crossing the ball into the box and getting headers. However, his stats on his physical, they're very low, but when it comes down to getting his head to the ball, uh, I'd say 9 times out of 10, he'll beat the opponent to it. Right here, really nice run, uses his pace, what he's known for, to get inside the box. He's going to send it through, nobody there to bury that one in the back of the net. Another header right there, so he doesn't really lack much air time or even jumping in general. Obviously, when you have 96 pace, you'd assume you have great jumping as well. And uh, all in all, he's an amazing player, really do enjoy using him. What you guys are going to be basically seeing though are just three to four games where I thought he played extremely well and in my opinion made him the best Bundesliga striker. I have tried Lewandowski as well. I will have a player review on him uh, most likely tomorrow or the day after. Right there he's going to pass the ball to Messi. Messi's going to do the rest of the work. And uh, going back to my point, he plays like a center forward if that makes any sense. The catalyst in midfield. Uh, he'll run back and then he'll make the run going up. Right there, nice pass to Coleman. Coleman probably should have finished that. Right there, great example of being a catalyst. He's going to pass that ball to Messi. Really nice pass. Unfortunately, uh, finishing just wasn't subpar there. Uh, all in all, though, he's going for about 300,000 coins, making him, I believe, the most expensive Bundesliga player. Royce is going for about 200,000 on PlayStation 4. And uh, would I say he's worth the 300,000 coins? Yes, you guys saw it right there. Prime example of his finishing. When he gets open and when he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, again, 9 times out of 10, you're scoring that goal. Uh, with other strikers such as Griezmann or just others, Lewandowski, Suarez, although they're amazing finishers and amazing players, I just felt as though they weren't doing much work. Right here, really nice piece of skill. And uh, I tried getting the shot off, unfortunately wasn't able to do so. And just for you guys in slow motion, it wasn't the greatest. However, it's something for myself to be proud of. And uh, I believe he does have three star skills if I'm correct and uh, four star weak foot along with that high attacking work rate low defensive work rate and again he's not really required to be playing defense as a striker and uh, him just running back into the midfield sorting play out getting the ball out of there sending it to his wingers is more than enough for me 95 acceleration on this card 96 sprint speed can't stress that enough I mean it's not FIFA 16 where players such as Mertesacker would catch up to a 91 pace Ronaldo or 92 pace whatever he was and his dribbling is actually 81, so all in all, for 300,000 coins, you're getting the best striker in the game, in my opinion. I've said this about so many players. Dybala at first. From Dybala, I went to Griezmann. From Griezmann, uh, we have Aubameyang now. So I've tried most of the strikers in this game, and to be quite honest with you, I don't think anyone's taking the throne away from Aubameyang right there. He's going to pass it to Neymar. Neymar's going to get taken down. I give Aubameyang the pen. Thought I'd fool around a bit. Already winning 2 nothing, 90th minute. <laughs> give it a little bit of a chip. And uh, I don't know. It just cracks me up this year. I'm actually doing fairly well when it comes to pens. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe and drop a like on this video. It's been toxic.